Today we will look at configuring NetFlow in ACI Release 2.2. ACI Release 2.2 supports NetFlow on the second generation cloud scale switches. Nexus 9300 switches with the EX designation can run in one of two modes, analytics mode or NetFlow mode. Analytics mode is used when sending telemetry data to a tetration system. NetFlow mode is used when sending NetFlow records to a NetFlow collector. The default mode for the switch is to run in analytics mode. In order to run NetFlow, you must change the default mode to run in NetFlow mode. This is done under Fabric, Fabric Policies in the Switch Policies folder. Here we have three subfolders, Policies, Policy Groups, and Profiles. The first step is to create a Fabric Node Control Policy. Here we've configured two fabric node control policies, one for analytics priority and one for NetFlow priority. The fabric node poli control policy is then assigned to a policy group. Here we've created an analytics policy group, referencing the analytics node control policy, and a NetFlow policy group, referencing the NetFlow node control policy. Finally, the policy group is assigned to a leaf profile. Here we've created a leaf profile for nodes 107 and 108 and assigned them to the NetFlow leaf policy group. These switches will run in NetFlow mode. NetFlow policies can be configured in one of two places under Fabric Access Policies or under Tenant Policies. First, we will look at Fabric Access Policy Configuration. NetFlow can be configured under Fabric Access Policies when assigned to leaf switch front panel ports. These can be port channels, virtual port channels, or access ports. NetFlow is not supported on leaf switch uplink ports. NetFlow policies are configured under Access Interface Policies in the Analytics folder. NetFlow configuration in ACI is very similar to NetFlow configuration on other platforms. There are three main parts to configuring NetFlow. Defining a NetFlow record policy, which defines the match parameters, the fields we want to match on for NetFlow records, Defining a NetFlow exporter policy, which defines the IP address information for the NetFlow collector. And defining a NetFlow monitor, which references the NetFlow record and the NetFlow exporter and is assigned to an interface. First, we will create NetFlow record policies. We can create NetFlow record policies for three address families, IPv4, IPv6 and CE or classical Ethernet. The CE address family is used for layer 2 flows. First I will create an IPv4 record policy and select the destination and source IPv4 address, the L4 source and destination port and the IP protocol. Next, I will configure an IPv6 policy. Here, I will select IPv6 destination address, source IPv6, the source and destination port, and the IP protocol. Next, I will create a CE record. For the CE record, we support destination MAC, source MAC, and ether type. Next is to define a NetFlow exporter. This is the policy that defines how we will, will reach the NetFlow collector.
The first step is to define the source IP address. The source IP address can be a single IP address, in which case each switch will send NetFlow records from that IP address. Another option is to specify a prefix and mask. When you specify a prefix and mask, each switch will populate the host portion of the source IP address with the node ID of that switch. Specify the UDP port for the flow records. 2055 is the most commonly used port, although this can be any value. The destination IP address for the NetFlow collector. The version. We currently support only version 9. And the EPG type. We support two options for EPG type, App EPG and L3 EPG. The NetFlow collector can be directly connected to an App EPG in the fabric or can be reachable via a tenant L3 out, L3 EPG. We do not support the NetFlow collector reachable via the out of band or in band management network. Here I've selected the common tenant EPG and associated VRF. The final step is to define the NetFlow monitor for each address family. Select the record and the exporter. And now we can assign the NetFlow monitor to the interfaces where we want to capture NetFlow records. This is done under Interface Policy Groups. Select the Leaf Policy Group. Here I've created one for the NetFlow ports. And I can assign NetFlow monitor policies for each address family. IPv4, IPv6, and CE. The CE address family will be used to capture only non-IP traffic flows.